um, again with yet another edition of Katha with Karadi. So I am Janaki Sabesh and I am waiting for many of you to join. So once I see that uh, there are uh, people joining in, uh, show me a thumbs up. Uh, let me know if I'm audible. Please do send in your uh, comments so that I can see it in the comment box. And uh, I'll wait for some more time. So I hope all of you are staying at home and uh, staying safe, um, playing board games with your family. Uh, all the kutis out there, I hope you are uh, helping your uh, ammas and appas with little, little activities. All right. So Saumia, thank you. You're saying I'm audible. That's great. Vilasini, Padnya, Imran. Yes, Devnath. All right. OK. So I'm just waiting for a few more people to join. And uh, hi, Shavata. That's nice. And Jyoti, Mashuda, Suman, Vilasini, Rizwan, Manisha. Hello. Vidya, Lakshmi, Vijay Kumar. Hello. Nice to see you here. This is nice. I'm able to see all your comments. And you're saying that uh, Disha. Oh, hi, Disha. How are you? All right, Fez, Chaitra. Yes, people are joining in. And you know, I have been telling stories with Karadi Tales for a very, very long time. It feels like a long time. But you know what? There are still some of my very, very favorite stories. And among those favorite stories is the one that I'm going to narrate today. So I am thrilled. I am so happy that I'm going to be able to share this story with you. Yeah, so all right. So now that people have started joining in, I think we have to start with a Karadi rhyme, one of my most favorites. And I want all of you to sing along. All of you know this song. It's one of the most popular uh, song among kutis and the adults. All right. Sassing mm. the sunflowers and rearing out the red roses. Gagigil the gulmohar. Mama, mother, merry gold. Pa, pop the pretty poppy. Dha dance the dahlias. Ni, not the neem flowers. Sare gama padani sa. Sare gama padani sa. Sa sing the sunflowers, rearing out the red roses. Ga gigil the gul mohas. Mama, mother, merry cool. Pop the pretty poppies, dha dance the dahlias, ni not the neem flowers, sare gama padani sa, sare gama padani sa, sare gama padani sa. All right, fine. So now that I have sung my favorite song, I think I can start off with the story. All right. I just checked on the time. All right. Nivo, higidare, chenna gidara. That's how are you in Kannada? Why am I saying it in Kannada? Because I am going to take you all through to Mysuru. Mahisha Surana Uru, Mysuru. Our story takes place in Mysuru. Now, Mysuru is a beautiful place. If you haven't seen it, you must go and visit it. Only after the lockdown is lifted. All right. So Mysuru is this beautiful place with lots of flowers and this beautiful palace. And there is Ma Chamundeshwari, Ma Chamundeshwari, who is the avatar of Durga, who slayed Mahishasur, the Asur. And she lives on top of a hill called Chamundi Hills. 
below that is mysuru and mysuru comes absolutely lively during dashera time the navaratri time the nine days where we celebrate good over evil and on the 10th day there's something absolutely beautiful that happens it's called the jambu savari jambu savari where an elephant carries machamundi on his back exactly on a throne it's almost like a carrier which is the golden howdah now the story is not about the jambu savari but about all right there was this little girl who was born sundari sundari was born to muniappa who is the chief mahot chief mahot the tip keeper of elephants right he she was born to muniappa and at the same time a few minutes apart was born lakshmi yes calf elephant to drona drona was that elephant that elephant who carried the ma golden howda and led the jumbo savari every year for the last 10 years imagine sundari and lakshmi they were just born a few minutes apart and as sundari's mother took her she weighed about 3 and 1/2 kilos and lakshmi 500 kilos <gasps> that's right and when these two were born just a few minutes apart did they become friends yes they did you know how muni appa used to take this little one sundari almost when she was big enough you know when she was when she started to crawl he used to pick up uh, sundari used to carry her and take her to the stable and there she used to go crawling next to lakshmi and she started oh <laughs> she started frolicking around lakshmi she loved lakshmi she loved the stable oh my god she loved the elephants she would go round and round and everybody started saying oh my god just look at sundari how beautifully she takes to elephants and muni appa said ha 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 slowly sundari grew old she became 5 years old she started weighing about 18 kilos she was skinny and lakshmi 3 tons and at that time sundari started playing you know what she did she almost did the slide sir yeah on lakshmi's trunk and lakshmi loved it almost as if lakshmi waited for sundari to make an appearance and they used to love you know going around here and there and slowly they grew up and slowly sundari she started nursing a dream she dreamt of the day she would sit on top of lakshmi and she would take lakshmi all around mysuru in a procession maybe now muniappa he wanted his son exactly he had an elder son vikram he wanted vikram to be the chief mahot after he was old and retired and he started sending vikram to classes but vikram he didn't want to become a mahot he said mm, smelly elephants mm, i don't want i don't want to go there i want to play the drum and he started playing the imaginary drum dum da dum da dum da dum da dum can you all play children yes 1 2 3 start dum da dum da dum da dum da dum again dum da dum da dum da dum da dum and he said you know why i want to play the drum because whoever plays the drum gets a nice uniform white color uniform with nice red satin lace with lots of mirror work oh i love that uniform mahot no 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 and muni appa as sundari grew older she was about 13 years old he started to send her to dance class sundari was not at all interested when the teacher said tai ya tai she went tai ya tai on the opposite side again the teacher said tai ya tai and she went tai ya tai almost disrupting the entire form the other dancers had 
Sundari was not interested in dancing. She just wanted to be a maho. She wanted to take Lakshmi around Mysore. But Muniappa said, no, no way. And Sundari's visits became so frequent to the stable that the elephants were very comfortable and almost like she was the unofficial nurse of the elephants. So time moved on. It was September. And suddenly, Drona fell sick. Remember, Drona was the only elephant who was trained to carry this golden howdah. You know, children, how, how much the golden howdah weighed? 750 kilos. Yes, imagine 750 kilos of that carrier on top of Drona and inside Ma Chamundeshwari. So it was a very, very heavy thing, but he was experienced. He was doing it for the last 10 years. But now it was September, just a month away from Navratri, and Drona fell sick. Drona fell sick so badly that he couldn't even get up. Now I told you Sundari was almost the unofficial nurse. Sundari came, she made some porridge with rice and she started giving it to Drona. She said, eat this, you might become okay. Drona ate, but he had no strength. He was very, very weak. Now seeing this, Rajanna, one of the old Mahot said, who will now do the Jambu Savari? Muniappa was also very, very upset. He said, okay, Drona's sons, let me start uh, training them. And he started training the sons of Drona. But they were not majestic enough. They didn't, they didn't have any, any strength. They lacked that majestic gait, you know. There was something royal about who? There was something royal about Drona, the way he walked, the way he conducted himself. But both the sons, neither of the sons had that. But then Sundari said, what about Lakshmi? See, she's taller than both her brothers and she has in it. She's majestic. She's royal. Come on, we can use Lakshmi. We can ask Lakshmi. And Rajana said, shh. No cow elephant, no female elephant has ever done the Jambu Savari. So quiet, you cannot even say this. And Muniapa was also getting angry. He said, no, no, no. But he was also concerned. And then one day, Maharani came. Maharani came with her son, the prince. And when Maharani and the prince wanted to see Drona, Muniapa came with a very, very grim face. And he said, Maharani, she said, what happened, Muniappa? What is wrong? He said, Drona is unwell and he will not be ready by the time of Jumbo Savari. <gasps> she said, okay, then, then who, what do we do? It is something, it is a tradition. We can't stop it. What do we do? Muniappa said, well, uh, Drona's sons are there. She said, let me see them, parade them. So Drona's sons were paraded one by one. But the prince said, Ma, to his mother, they are not Drona, Ma. They, they lack something. I'm not able to tell you. I don't know. And Muniappa's face fell. And Maharani said, what do we do now? Just then, Rajanna remembered what Sundari had said. We'll parade Lakshmi, he said. And Muniappa was protesting. No, 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 no. No female elephant, please. You can't do that. But... Rajana didn't hear him. He said, no, it's okay if he gets angry. And he said, Maharani, there is somebody who we'd like to parade. And she said, who is it? And Rajana said, it's Lakshmi, Drona's daughter. He said, parade. And when Lakshmi came in, she walked with such an amazing gait. I mean, she was brilliant. She walked as if she was royal. You know, she was, her walk had that majestic gait and she looked here and there and almost took a bow in front of Maharani and Maharani was impressed. Maharani said, that's it. Lakshmi will lead the Jambu Savari this year. And Muniappa, he couldn't say anything in front of Maharani. But then Rajana came and looked at Maharani. 
Maharani said, now what, Rajanna? What is wrong? Maharani, I don't know how to tell you, but I'm getting old and Lakshmi is not trained. And you remember, we need to train Lakshmi. Train Lakshmi in carrying that golden howda. So she said, then what do we do? But Maharani, there is somebody, there is somebody who can actually train Lakshmi. And do you know who it is? Muniapa said, who, who? It's Muniapa's daughter, Sundari. Muniapa said, Yenadu? Beda, beda. Oddu, oddu, oddu. Maharani said, no, no, no. I have to meet Sundari. Please, please bring her in front of me. And Sundari was summoned and Sundari came. She didn't know what she was called for. And she said, she bowed in front of Maharani and she said, Maharani. And Maharani held her hand and gently asked her, how would you feel, Sundari, if you led Lakshmi in this year's Jumbo Savari? Sundari couldn't believe her ears. She said, me? She thought to herself, this is what I always wanted. Yes, yes. Of course, Maharani, I'd love to do that. Please, I'd love to do that. And Maharani said, then it's decided. This year, Navratri, on the 10th day, Dashmi day, the Jambu Savari will be led by Lakshmi. And the Mahut will be Sundari, who will now train Lakshmi. And Muniappa said, ah. Oh. <laughs> of course, after all, she is a Mahotsa daughter. She said, huh? All right, you change your mind. But at the same time, Muniappa said, but you know, I'd also like to. He looked around for Vikram and Vikram had hid behind the prince. He said, I don't want to do anything. I just want to play drums. Elephants, elephants. I don't like the smell. They are very scary. Ah. The prince said, it's okay, it's okay. And Muniappa said, all right, all right. Sundari can be the chief Mahot, but we don't have uniforms for girls. So, all right, we have uniforms for boys. We can do one thing, Sundari can, you know, she had long hair, her plaid, she can just fold it uh, behind and she can wear the boy's uniform. Sundari's face fell. She started crying. She's no, I don't want to wear a man's uniform. It's for the first time in Mysore that a female elephant is going to lead the Jambu Savari. And I am going to, I, daughter of Muniapa, is going to sit on top and lead. I want to be seen for who I am. You can't do this to me. And that's when Maharani asked. Sundari to come near her and she said, she whispered something, we don't know what, but Sundari's face lit up. It was so beautiful. Sundari said, oh, yes. And that's it. Maharani went away and Sundari started training Lakshmi. Every day, every day without fail, she made sure that Lakshmi and she went round Mysore just five kilometers, but remember, it took a long time. And she also made sure that the golden howdah was placed so that Lakshmi got a chance to understand what this howdah was all about. And they paraded every day. They went round and round my sword. They trained and they trained and they trained. And it was Navratri. It was Navratri, the entire Mysore was filled with lights. People were dancing on the streets. People were singing on the streets. There were lights everywhere. And the word had gotten around entire Karnataka. You know, far and near people wanted to come and see the female elephant and the young girl Sundari. And people from Ramnagara, Chinnapatna, Mandya, Everywhere they started thronging Mysuru. Mysuru was brimming with people. There were so many people, so many people. And that's it. Nine days of Navratri was over. And it was Dashami. It was Vijay Dashami day. And Sundari got ready to 
make Lakshmi wear all those jewels in the front and beautiful jewelry. The jewelry was so heavy that she needed two, three people to even help her. All right, I think the connection was lost, but there it was. Sundari came out and she was dressed in this beautiful blue sari, so beautiful with a tiara, with a tiara and lots of jewels, and her hair was left open. So, this was the secret. She was wearing the sari of the dancer. That's exactly what Maharani had whispered, and we didn't know about it. And finally, she looked beautiful she looked gorgeous and everybody said oh! and they were all waiting in the palace ground because in the palace ground the pujari was doing a long puja long uh, worshipping ma chamundeshwari and after the long puja ma chamundeshwari was placed on the throne inside the golden howda and the golden howda was placed on lakshmi and almost on the veranda of the palace, Maharani and the prince offered their prayers. They helped Sundari sit in the front. Sundari was fine and Lakshmi was fine. And Sundari said, I take your blessings. And she started. And everybody around Mysore, the word had gotten around that the Jambu Savari, the main attraction, Lakshmi and Sundari are going to come and always the elephant that leads the Jambu Savari also has companions. So who are the two companions? It was her two brothers. Exactly. Lakshmi's two brothers were on either side and people started going from here and there. Nodu nodu kannara ninti halu nagu nagu tacha munde ninti halu nodu nodu kannara ninti halu nagu nagu tacha munde ninti halu ododi banire macha munde nodire come on you can all sing with me Odori bani re, meaning come, come, come fast and see. Ma cha mundi nodi re. Again, Odori bani re, ma cha mundi nodi re. And out there in the front was Vikram. Dum, da dum, da dum, da dum, da dum, dum, da dum, da dum, da dum, da dum. Odori bani re, ma cha mundi nodi re. Dum, da dum, da dum, da dum, da dum, dum, da dum, da dum, da dum, da dum, da 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 dum. And as Sundari and Lakshmi inched their way, they had to literally inch because it was a sea of humanity. Almost everybody was there wanting to catch a glimpse for the first time in the history of Mysuru. And as Rajmata Maharani said, it was Chamundeshwari who slayed Mahishasur. And exactly that is why it this Jambu Savari was even more special because it was Sundari who sat on top of Lakshmi, the female elephant, and carried Ma Chamundeshwari. Ma Chamundeshwari was so happy. She was, she was sitting on the throne, you know, majestic, 
but Lakshmi with the jewels in front and the silk on either side and Sundari wearing this beautiful blue sari with a tiara and jewels and her hair open was smiling, was smiling because finally her dream came true. That day when they started going round, it took a long, long, very long time to complete that five kilometer radius and go and finally finish under Bunny Mandap. The Jambu Savari always got over, it got completed, it finished at the Bunny Mandap tree. That day, Muniapa was so proud. That day, Drona, even though he couldn't see it, he was so happy that his, his elephant, Lakshmi, his child, Lakshmi, and of course, his sons also, they were instrumental. He didn't want the Jambu Savari tradition to be disrupted because of his ill health. And he was so proud. He was proud of this duo, Lakshmi and Sundari, an unusual pair of twins, born a few minutes apart. And look at the way they they showed the world what twins are all about, an unusual pair of twins. So again, one last time. Ododi bani re, macha mundi nodi re. Ododi bani re, macha mundi nodi re. And Vikram playing the drum because his dream was also coming true because he wore that beautiful white uniform with satin laces and lots of mirror work. And he went dum da dum da dum da dum da dum again dum da dum da dum da dum da dum da 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 dum. So that was the story, which is called a pair of twins, a pair of twins from. Karadi Tales. So this is the book, uh, which is uh, a pair of twins written by a dear friend, Kavita Mandana, and beautifully illustrated by Nayantara Surendranath. It is so beautiful, this, I mean, every time I narrate the story, I have goosebumps because it is such a beautiful tale. And it, it shows, I mean, it works in so many different layers. It works for children, it works for adults. So I'm going to show you a few uh, pages from uh, the uh, book. So let me just go to one of my, ah, this is a favorite uh, illustration of mine. Look at that, young Sundari going, sir. That's right, on the trunk of Lakshmi. And, oh, that's Vikram saying, I have nothing to do with elephants. I want to play the drum. And uh -huh. <laughs> this is where she dances. OK, all wrong steps. And then I want to go to this. Ah, this is where Lakshmi, look at Lakshmi. She is being paraded. So beautiful. Look at Lakshmi and Maharani and the prince are overjoyed seeing Lakshmi. And then, of course, that is... All right, that's Sundari in that beautiful blue turquoise sari and the golden howdah. And finally, look at that so beautiful and that is the story of a pair of twins i thank karadi tales for giving me this opportunity because this is one of my favorite stories and uh, i'm sure all of you have been enjoying i have been enjoying myself um, edition one and now edition two um katha with karadi and if you really are enjoying, which I, am, I know for sure that you are, please, please write that recommendation for Kara Details. All of us need to write that recommendation because Kara Details is uh, a great, uh, you know, pioneer in this space and also continues to innovate, continues to innovate with so many different, different things, all connected with books and music. What amazing music. 
um, what I sang in the beginning, the Sa Sing the Sunflower, and all the Karadi rhymes. And remember the Otto song that was premiered uh, when Usha Ji sang. And uh, tomorrow at 5.30, there's going to be a musical session of uh, something around Mustache Man. I don't know. You have to come at 5.30. Just come to Karadi Tales page, log in, and just tune in. We'll be back with another story, uh, and this time a musical evening. So please, please stay safe, uh, stay at home, and uh, read lots of books, listen to a lot of stories. If you have missed edition one, go on to the website and uh, search for Katha with Karadi. Just go to Karadi Tales website, and you'll be uh, directed towards Katha with Karadi. And there are lots and lots of stories and sessions illustrators and uh, musicians and so many sessions so don't forget to um, all right i think i'm going to read out a few of the comments thank you so much uh, um, you said uh, you you've all liked it and thank you so much for your love and uh, uh, tomorrow yes uh, i think it will be uh, live um, not so sure somebody is here from karadi daya if you can say if tomorrow's session is also live yes i think it is live so please tune in at uh, 5 30 tomorrow and uh, yes katha with karadi thank you so much for all i'm seeing all your comments here thank you so much and uh, stay home stay safe stay together listen to stories sing some songs listen to songs and let's all be happy we're all in this together thank you so much namaskar